Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Haspa and you're watching Preston Every Design. So it's almost midnight down here in Texas, but I just came back from a birthday party. And since I already had my makeup done, I decided I would do my intro tonight so that I can get this video out on time by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So uh, in today's video, I am going to be trying some new products and some new techniques. I'm working on stepping out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to be working on creating lots and lots of unique and uh, different textures and just trying new products. So I hope that you guys will enjoy uh, this video as I enjoyed making it. Also, if you have not, please subscribe to my channel. I am really close to hitting a thousand subscribers and I would love to have you join our small but growing YouTube family. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the very first project. Just back for a very quick and friendly reminder that all of the items you see in today's video will be available for purchase on my website PrestonEveryDesign.com which I have also linked in the description below. For the first two projects, um, actually it's one project, it's just going to vary a little bit. I'm taking these two cabinet doors that I picked up from Habitat for Humanity and I'm going to turn them into some sort of wall decor. I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say, but we didn't mind. Cause we could lay on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes And I Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your ripped jeans I can still see it all We ran on top of buildings Just like a scene from a Alright, now that the cleaning is done, we are going to go ahead and paint. Um, so for this one, I'm going to be layering the paint. So I'm starting for my best color using this beautiful blue color called Gingham from Bear. Now, for the middle, I went ahead and I stippled a, a garland that I picked up from Amazon and I'm just creating some kind of greenery center. And then once that's done, I am trying this new product called Crackle by Dixie Bell. Now, you need to follow the instructions on the container, but they're pretty easy. You just wanna put a base coat and then apply your Crackle medium and let it dry overnight. Now the next day, once my crackle is all dry, you will go over it with your top coat. Now this is going to be the color that will be on top, but the best coat is the color that's going to show through the cracks. Isn't that awesome? I mean, as I am painting, you can immediately see the paint is already starting to crack. And I absolutely love this finish. Remember when you kissed me, I felt the taste of your lipstick. Now once I was done with my top coat and I let it dry, I'm going to go back and use this awesome dark and decrepit dust from DIY 
and I'm just applying this generously in all the areas that I think would look good to highlight and make a little darker and then I will go back on top of this and add some gilding wax also from DIY you guys if you haven't tried the gilding wax go ahead and give it a shot it is amazing So this project here is my absolute favorite out of this video. Now this was actually the foot of the bed that's left over from when I took apart that old bed in my guest bedroom and we built that mantle for my living room. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out. So now this is one of the fit and I have two of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this as well using my card cutter. And that's all I'm gonna need to do for the prep work on this because I am using DIY paint in White Swan, and DIY paint requires minimum prep. There. Mm -hmm. And we didn't even care if we stayed up all night. Cause we always had each other, always had each other, always had each other. We always had each other. Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your ripped jeans I can still see it all Now, once my paint is dry, I am going to go ahead and take a brush and apply my gilding wax. This is the gold gilding wax from DIY Steel. Now, I recently took a design quiz to find out which is my true style, and it turns out that my style is actually refined rustic. So I like things that are rustic, but with a little bit of refinement to them. And I find that applying this gold gilding wax on top of this white really gives me that refined rustic look that I absolutely adore. So I went all in with this. You can apply it as generously or as moderately as you would like. And it turns out absolutely beautiful. Taste of your lipstick, even the breath of your lip jeans, I can still see it all. We run on top of buildings, just like a sea of For our next project, I am going to take these old spindles that I found on a table that was on the curb and I am going to just turn them into candlesticks. To a place we could talk for hours. Mm. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say, but we didn't mind. Cause we could lay on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes. And I. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole using a whole drilling drill bit and this is going to create that place where the candle will sit. 
Now here I am just making sure that I have a, a hole big enough that a standard tepid candle can fit inside. Now I'm going to put a base on these because once you put the candles on, I don't want them to be top heavy. Now the base that I'm using, you guys, this is absolutely genius. It is a toy building kit from Hobby Lobby. It's a toy truck and these are supposed to be the wheels. But for today, they're going to be the bases for our candlesticks. So I am using wood glue to attach these and I'm just letting them sit on the side to let that glue dry. And then I will go back using my bride nailer to, you know, reinforce them with some bride nails. Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your lip jeans now once the construction is done it is time to paint I am using the Rust-Oleum uh, white linen paint and I'm gonna give these two nice and generous coats and once that's done I will go back and do the gilding wax yet again And I'm sure by now you have figured out that the gilding wax is totally the star of today's video. Remember when you kissed me, I felt the taste of your lipstick, even the breath of your lip jeans, I can still see it all. friends we have come to the end of this video I wanted to leave you with one more project now I built these candle st stands I guess you could call them since they're not sticks I'm just using bed posts left over from previous projects and I attached a mold using the IOD uh, air dried clay now for these I'm gonna just pa I painted them white using the Rust-Oleum chalk paint and they too got to be baptized with this golden gilding wax and look at the difference between the white one and the waxed one so friends uh, thanks so much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comments below and tell me which was your favorite project until next time thank you see you soon we ran on top of just like a sea from a living our life